here's another printed circuit board that I created to help me with the development of the Squawk and Talk replacement soundboard. It's another board that fits on an Adreno Uno kind of a shield that taps into the 15 pin connector or 18 pin connector that goes to the Squawk and Talk board and records the sound commands and the durations in between the sound commands. And it basically creates two little arrays that I can dump right into my Squawk and Talk tester board so that I can test these boards on the bench and actually play a game and have the right sounds and the durations. I've got the serial monitor hooked up here to my laptop and this display here will count the number of sound commands it's recording. My array is 256 elements so I want to try to keep this count under 256 so that I can record the entire game, the startup sequence and the ending sequence. So I'm going to press the button here and the LED starts flashing. That means it's ready to re start recording. I'll coin it up. There you go. One sound already. I'll start the game. So we already got eight sounds playing. I'll play a little bit of a game here. there was when I drained the ball and the bonus points are totaled up really fast. Lots of sounds there. Second ball. I'll let this one drain. And third ball. I got my game set up for uh, four balls. Let this one drain out. And my last ball. Let that one drain out. You have been exposed to electrodes radiation. Will you return? So I've recorded 79 different sounds. I'll press the button again and it'll actually stop recording. And then I'll press it a third time and it'll now dump all the sounds to the serial monitor in an array format so that I can copy them in. So let's take a look. It was recorded on the laptop serial monitor. Um, when the soundboard started, it went into mode one, which was waiting for the start button. Then I start, I pressed the start button. That's where the lights started flashing and started recording sounds. When I was done with the game, I pressed it again and it said stop recording. Then I pressed it a fourth time and it dumped the arrays. And you can see here's the 256 element arrays. The first one is the sound commands. And the second one here is the counts in between. In this case is about 1 26th of a second or about 38 milliseconds. When I started recording, this 38 sound command is the coin up command and then it went for 211 counts and then there was a zero command sound which is interesting never seen that before and then there was 138 counts and then 30 and that was immediately followed by 254, which is a background sound, 19 more counts, and then it was 247, 246. This must be the voices. They're actually run right one right after another, and then so on. So there's here's all the sounds that it recorded and all the durations. Now I can copy and paste these two arrays into the code for my Squawk and Talk tester and use that to drive the sound boards on a bench to basically play a game without me having to play it by hand. Then I can debug my code to make sure that the sounds come out the same as on the 
Real Squawk and Talk board.